HP USN is the name of this company. Hyper Photography and Utility Solutions. We're just gonna unbox everything and test it out. So here we have a light stand and just by the touch of it, you know this is pretty high quality. Um, I usually buy the cheap stuff, so it's always plastic. This is not plastic. This is some kind of, I mean, it could be plastic, but it doesn't feel like plastic. It feels like some kind of metal. And let's see, it looks like we have some gels, some colored filters to put on top of the light. We have yellow, red, and blue. Now there's two of each color and two light stands. Because, get this, you get, you get two lights. What is this? Wall adapter and power cables. And these are, I'm assuming, the soft boxes themselves. Ooh. So, it looks like... Ugh, we're gonna go to the instructions. Do you guys see a glare in my glasses? I'm sorry, I I just threw on the camera and wanted to make this video. Insert the four supporting metal bars into the four corresponding holes of the lamp holder. So, this is the lamp. Three hours later. Insert the four supporting metal bars into the four corresponding holes of the lamp holder. The heads of the two sides of the metal bar are different. Here are the small beads. So, if you could see this, metal bars have this end, which has like a smaller tip, and then this end, which is like more rounded. You know what, I'll hold up two of the different ones so that way you could see. See that? Okay, I figured it out. Those rods, uh, so after you attach them to, like you stick them in these holes on the light and they're gonna like fan out. Then when you put the, the soft box over it, there's going to be these little Velcro pieces in the corners and there's actually a hole here, that's where those rods go. So it goes inside you gotta like finesse it a little bit. It goes in just like that. And that's what it looks like without the diffuser. Let's attach the diffuser now. Okay, so it looks like the diffuser has some Velcro strips along the side. Yes, and those will attach themselves to these Velcro strips. On the on the soft box, and there's these flaps right on the on the diffuser. Do you see this? Yeah. There's these little flaps that go over the soft box, so that way all the light stays inside. The soft box itself does feel very like durable. Like it's not like those. Uh, I don't know what material it is, but this thing feels kind of like. Like leather. I know it's not leather. It could be leather. I have no idea, but that's what it feels like. Okay, so we have the soft box all set up. All we have to do now is plug it in and test it out. Now we're gonna turn this on right here. Okay, so on the back, it looks like we have a few things going on. It looks like it tells us how much of its maximum output is putting out, so 11%. And there's a dial here, let's see, yeah. So this dial controls, holy shit. Holy, that's bright. Uh, let's turn this down. I think, I don't know, 25% will be plenty for today's usage. It tells us the color temperature and it also has the Olympic rings. Just kidding, I don't know what that is. And this knob over here, it looks like it controls the Kelvin, so we could have a cooler light. Or if I crank it the other way, a warmer light. Oh, okay. I generally like to keep it at 5500 Kelvin.
before daylight. Let's crank this up to, I don't know, let's try 40%. And let's have a seat and see how it looks. How do I look guys? Do I look all cinematic? Now I don't have another monitor where I could view myself right now on that camera, but just by judging the shadows on my fingers, my hands, my forearms, I'm thinking it looks pretty soft. So I at least know when I do edit this, the way that the light is falling on my face is going to be aesthetically pleasing. If I'm good looking enough. Now the cool thing about this item in particular from HP USN is you get double of everything. You get two soft boxes, you get two lights, two power adapters, everything is doubled up. You get all of that for $159.99 on Amazon. Now what I particularly like about these soft boxes is that color temperature and light intensity are controllable. Unlike the other soft boxes that you can find on Amazon where you have to screw in that light bulb, Typically, those bulbs are not dimmable. So at least with these, you can control how bright you want something or how cool or warm you want something. So that is really good for the price point. And you get two. If you want to try out these lights, of course, the link will be in the description along with my complete gear list. So check that out. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kevin Mendoza, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.